Allah the Compassionate, the Most Merciful, to all of our viewers out there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And we're very glad that you are joining us one more time as we're having this beautiful discussion with a renowned prominent scholar of Islam, Dr. Ja'far Sheikh Idris, as we are talking about the intersection of faith and reason. And yesterday, Sheikh, you mentioned an extremely um, important point, and that is, as a religious person or all revealed religion, rationality is innate in them. And that includes Islam and all previously revealed religion as and well. And we have reasons for why, why is this so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And as a religious person, you are expected, as somebody who is not jeopardizing or compromising their intellect in the beliefs that you are believing at this point. No. No. I am reminded of a story. It mm -hmm. said that um, a philosopher sat with a group of farmers, and he wanted to provoke them. And he said to one of them, a very simple man, and he said, how do you know if somebody asks you, does God exist, what would you tell them? And the farmer said, I would invite them to my garden. And I would say, come and find him there. The philosopher was very offended by this answer. And he said, what if they come to your farm or to your garden and they tell you that they did not find him? What would you say? And the farmer said, well, I would tell them to look closer. I'm not sure if that was a good answer. It was definitely a simplistic one. Mm -hmm. But it seems that believers at this point are at the defensive where they would actually have to give a um, proof that God does exist. Yeah. Is this something that Islam or previous revealed uh, religions have addressed? Yes, of course. And inshallah, this will be our discussion, I, I hope, tonight. Uh, what, uh, w what is the evidence? for the existence of the, of the Creator. And by the way, uh, if the farmer was uh, intellectual <laughs> to some extent, uh, he would have said uh, what some uh, what a thinker said, that uh, he said it in Arabic, that uh, if you do not know how to express yourself, that doesn't mean that you don't think. Hmm. Because these are two different uh, things. Because uh, the farmer could have yani, an argument, but it is not the kind of argument that yani, he expresses in a way that uh, convinces the philosopher. Well, yeah. does, that, does that mean that the, the argument or the, the issue here is that people of faith are not able to eloquently not, state not their on, belief? I, I can't say of faith, because this includes some uh, Muslim philosophers and, and I hope I'm one of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> Indeed, are. So, so we argue, of course, we argue. And, um, and f for example, now because I studied Western philosophy, I can, I can argue with, the, with Western people because I can use their terminology and so on. It is a matter of language. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of language only. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. is, isn't the question itself ironic that we would actually have to prove that God exists and yeah. not them uh -huh. having to disprove yes, that. Yes, inshallah. We'll, we'll, we'll show that this, this should not be the case. And uh, when we come to the Quranic argument, the Quranic argument, inshallah, when we come uh, to that, we'll show that this should not be the case. That you I should mean, we should not fall into this trap. That we have to prove that God exists. Yes, because the natural thing is that there is a creator. The onus is on the, <laughs> on the person who denies the existence of the Creator. The burden of proof no. is on them, uh, yes. not on us, no. believers. No. Well, ladies and gentlemen out there, you are in for a treat, and you are invited to be part of this. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we would have to ask, what are the fundamentals then upon which such a belief is based? Yes, but I, I think that, be, be, uh, yes, it was said yesterday that uh, there must be a rational argument supporting the fundamentals of the religion. In fact, you, you, you can broaden this and say that um, anyone who invites us to believe in an ideology, whether it is Marxism or democracy or dictatorship mm -hmm. or, or whatever. Usually we're not invited to dictatorship. It's <laughs> okay. just imposed on us. Okay. No, some people <laughs> defend dictatorship. No? So he must give us reasons for the fundamentals of, 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 of his ideology. For example, uh, democracy is the rule of the people. 
Why should the people rule? A person can ask. And uh, democratic um, uh, theoreticians, theoreticians of democracy, try to answer this question. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't give me good reasons why democracy is better than dictatorship, then, then why do you expect me to, to agree with you? So uh, we're saying that the fundamentals of the religion must be rationally supported. There must be evidence for the truth of the fundamentals of the religion. And we say, said yesterday, I think, that, uh, not yesterday, <laughs> last episode, uh, that, episode that, uh, uh, that uh, secondary matters that are based on, on, on this need not, need to be not have any direct proof for them. But I forgot to mention that, in fact, Sometimes you can have direct proof even for some of the secondary things. Mm -hmm. so, some mm -hmm. of, for, for some of the, the, this is, now of course you know that there is uh, uh, an, a new kind of science called um, uh, the uh, miracles, the scientific miracles mm -hmm. of, of the Quran. Mm -hmm. These miracles uh, depend on some of what I called um, secondary issues like the development of the embryo. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Muslims, earlier Muslims, or most Muslims, believed in this because they believed in the Quran, and this is what uh, God said. Now we are having evidence that this, that, uh, this development of the embryo that is described in the Quran could not have been known at that time by any by any human means, because the means by which this was discovered are new. Mm -hmm. And it is because of this that some people, in fact, accepted uh, Islam. I, and I know one of them accepted Islam because of this. So even some of the secondary things, this is not necessary, but even some of the secondary things can be, uh, can, yeah, there can be direct evidence for the truth. And, and I think what I'm understanding is that the original claim itself needs not to be of a miraculous nature that, no. that you have, but it must have some sort of a rational reasoning behind yes. it. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah. now one, uh, before we come to the f fundamentals, of course the fundamentals you know mm -hmm. include the existence of God, why uh, God should be uh, uh, worshipped, uh, mm, the truth, uh, the, the authenticity of, uh, of, of, of the Prophet. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the Quran is the word of God, mm -hmm. uh, the, the fact that there is life uh, after Perfect. death, and so on. Mm -hmm. These are the fundamentals. For all these fundamentals, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet mm -hmm. give us evidence. Mm -hmm. They give us evidence for all of these fu fundamentals. So uh, uh, when a Prophet comes, mm -hmm. he doesn't start with uh, proving the existence of God. Because most people, even until today, the overwhelming majority of human beings believe in the existence of the Creator. So when a prophet comes, he invites people to worship that Creator uh, whom, in whose existence they, they believe. believe. Yes, they might not have, uh, uh, they might attribute um, some things to the to. to to, to the creator, I mean, their knowledge of the creator might not be perfect, mm -hmm. but um, all people all over the world believe in the in the core of this that there is a creator, even when they worship uh, some idols or so, they they know the difference between the idols that they worship and the God that is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And all, 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 all people, the Arabs were like this. I know uh, some people in Africa uh, who are uh, like this. So this, the, 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 the fact that there is a creator is something that... Uh, is a given. Uh, yes. To most so a uh, prophet comes to invite people to worship uh, that creator. But someone might say, I am one of that minority. <laughs> I don't believe in the existence of the Creator. What would the religion say? Mm -hmm. The religion would not say, 
No, we are not dealing with people like you. <laughs> because the prophets, when they come, the assumption is that the people do already yes. believe in God. But there is a minority sure. of people sure. who say, no, we don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. And so the Quran gives them evidence for the existence of the, uh, of the Creator. Okay. Uh, what is uh, the evidence? Uh, I am relying in answering some of these questions on uh, Ibn Taymiyyah's uh, thought. Uh, I happened to uh, write a book about uh, what I called um, philosophical theology, uh, Islamic philosophical theology, uh, according to Ibn Taymiyyah. Mm -hmm. So uh, inshallah we will rely heavily on uh, what he says because uh, he was very much concerned with this, with the, with this problem because um, he had to argue with the philosophers, with um, of his time. Uh, now, uh, so uh, he had uh, very interesting uh, things to say uh, about this. Sheikh, just just in case mm -hmm. to accommodate our viewers who may not be familiar mm -hmm. with some of the names that we mentioned, okay. just briefly, Ibn Taymiyyah, whom that would be. I, I think it is enough to say to yeah, to the non-Muslims that he was one of the. Um, uh, uh, one of the, our greatest uh, uh, thinkers. Uh, he combined good knowledge of the religion, I mean uh, the Quran, the sayings of the prophets, and so on, with knowledge of almost every yeah, any branch of knowledge <laughs> that was available at his time. And he said something, had it not been for the fact that he was a truthful person, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have believed him. Mm -hmm. He said that he, he argued with the philosophers mm. when he was eight, uh, uh, 14 years old. <laughs> At 14, Ibn Taymiyyah was arguing with the philosophers. Yeah. With this, we will take a short break and we will come back to the issue of the proof yeah. for oh. the existence of God. So please stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome back to the intersection of faith and reason with our guest here, dear Dr. Jafar Sheikh Idris. Sheikh, you were talking earlier about the rational proof for the existence of, um, oh, okay. of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, Ibn Taymiyyah says that in fact the real evidence for the existence of the Creator is human nature. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but this raises many questions. What, what does he mean by that when he said... That this mean? is something, um, and he, 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 he likens it to... There are many things which you know by nature. For example, uh, the fundamentals of the principles of logic. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, no one needs to teach you that a contradictory statement is a false statement. Sure. You know, you, you know this. Sure. That when uh, you believe... In, uh, in, in what you see. Mm. So suppose now I am seeing you, and I say, if someone says, uh, how do you know that Yasser exists? I say, I have seen, I've seen, him. seen. I say, well, That is not a proof. <laughs> Give me a proof. No. I, 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 that, that is a proof. Is he almost assuming that, not assuming, but is he saying that this is innate? Yes. In, in, yes, in, in the, the human nature in to human, believe in God. In God. No. And it is, uh, it is just like uh, f these uh, self-evident truths hmm. th that um, half is less than a whole, a whole. And, and so on. Uh, now, but this raises many questions. He, and he himself um, tries to answer some uh, of the questions. Uh, the first question is, what kind of knowledge is this? We know that the child doesn't have this knowledge of, of, of the Creator. You know, how do we know that a uh, child, he doesn't even speak? So, so uh, uh, and there's uh, an, a, a verse in the Quran which makes it clear that when you come out of the, the, of the womb of your mother, you come out knowing nothing. لا تعلمون شيئا. نعم. والله that God, when God brought you out of the wombs of your mothers, you came out knowing nothing. And then he endowed you with sight, with hearing, with mind. Mm -hmm. So, but in the Quran itself, <laughs> we have another verse which says that this religion is a religion of human nature. Mm. 
And there is a hadith of the Prophet, a very famous hadith, that uh, uh, every newborn child is born according to the, to the fitra. Fitra means uh, original good human nature. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the nature uh, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God put in, in the heart of every uh, human being at the Real hour time of, of birth. creation. Or every, uh, every bad thing is a deviation from this human nature. Human, uh, this fitra. Mm. Let us use this uh, Arabic word. The, fitra. Uh, uh, and remember, I want the listeners to remember that there is no equivalent to this word in English. Mm -hmm. And even in Arabic, sometimes people uh, misuse it. But in, in the Quranic terminology, it means good, original human nature. So it says that this deen is the deen of that nature. So this means that the, the whole religion has its roots in, in human nature. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. Prophet says, uh, every new born child is born according to that nature. Fitra. Then it is his parents that make him deviate, and, and it is the devil, devils him. also that make him uh, deviate, deviate from. So how do you rec reconcile uh, these two? Mm. He says that this knowledge develops with the development of the mind. Mm -hmm. You are, no, you, are, you, are, you are born knowing nothing, but then as your mind develops, you, know, you don't need to be taught this. Even, even if you know, no one speaks to you about God or anything, then as your mind develops, you come, you become, you come to be aware of the, the, of the fact that you have a creator and, that, and, and that you must be, you, wa you must worship, uh, worship him. Now, I, I, uh, in the book that I wrote about uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, it, it has not been published yani, yet. I, say, I, I said this is uh, like saying that there is a seed of knowledge, hmm. not knowledge, but a seed of knowledge that germinates hmm. uh, yani, into, into a f uh, full-fledged tree with the development of the, uh, of the mind. So this was his first uh, question. The second question, suppose that someone said, I don't feel this. You're talking about what might be problematic with saying that it is in the nature of yes. humans. Yes. So that was the first objection. Yes. And secondly, a person is yes. saying that, uh, I, I don't, don't feel it. I don't feel it. Sure. Uh, he tells him, you must be mistaken. Because the overwhelming majority of human beings there's a consensus on this. Mm -hmm. So uh, you cannot be right and all these people be, be wrong. And he mentions here something interesting. He says, uh, when people agree there's a consensus on something positive, they, they, they say, we know this, this is accepted. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there might be a consensus on something negative. Sure. They say, this is not true, sure. we don't know this. Because he said that this might be because of lack of knowledge. But, but as far as uh, yeah, affirming something, uh, the consensus is, of the people is, is, to, be is, accepted. is, is to be accepted. Hmm. Now, uh, again he says, but uh, why, why do people then deny the existence of the Creator? Sure. <laughs> no. He said, these, are, these people are three kinds. Mm. The first are just liars. <laughs> <laughs> and he's very blunt about it. Yeah, he says they're liars. They know <coughs> in their heart of hearts that there is a creator. But they don't want to acknowledge this because, yeah, I mean, mistakenly, they think that this might not be in their interest. Mm. And for some worldly gains or some so they deny it, and he gives the example of Pharaoh, sure. uh, because uh, the Quran says, and they denied it, while uh, deep they, in their hearts, they, deep in their hearts, they, they knew it. They knew it. Mm -hmm. The second um, group is interesting. He said that these people are suffering from a kind of sophistry, hmm. sophistry. 
um, uh, يعني sophistry um, and he says this can be can be a real disease uh, they are not pretending um, he says when a person suffers from this kind of uh, mental يعني, disease he can deny self-evident truth hmm. mm. and by the way some the first book that I read <laughs> The first philosophy books, book that I read uh, was Bertrand Russell on the problems of philosophy. Mm -hmm. And he was um, explaining the position of the empiricists. Mm -hmm. Some people who said, how do we know that there is an external world? Mm -hmm. How do we know? Now I see you, I say, Yasser exists because I can see him. But what if I, I close my eyes? I don't see you. Does he still exist? Does he still exist? Hmm. What if I turn away? Does he still exist? And uh, I remember very well when I was reading this, I began to, to feel things to, uh, around, yeah, you. around me to <laughs> see whether the table exists, <laughs> <laughs> exists or not. Uh, so, and they can deny, they can deny, as I said, even. Uh, logical principles, mathematical uh, uh, principles. And I would add, this is not what Ibn Taymiyyah said. Uh, some people th think that when they do this, they are being rational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, they are not. Because when you say, why is this so? You, you are asking for an explanation. And usually when you, when, when you ask, this means that you think that what the person is saying contradicts a truth sure. that you know. Sure. But if there is no truth at all, <laughs> then the question doesn't arise. And a person who, uh, who, 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 who doubts everything cannot ask, ask any question. So uh, this is my contribution to what you <laughs> <laughs> said. Uh, the third is also very interesting. Um, he says that there is a difference between having something in your mind and being aware of it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this will remind you of some uh, the, uh, psychoanalysis. Sure. Uh, the, uh, sure. He said these are two different things. And he likens the mind to the body. He said that there might be something, for example, in your back or so. Uh, you don't know it. It is, it is in your body. But you, you are not aware of it. And the fact that you're not aware of it doesn't mean that it is not. It does not exist. And, and, and he said the same applies to, uh, to the mind. And he gives uh, examples of things that, uh, yeah, with which you are familiar. Sometimes you uh, yani pass through an experience and you discover something bad about yourself. You, you, you say to yourself, I didn't think that... Uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> capable of this. I, of I didn't think that... Uh, I have this kind of envy. Mm? Mm. Yeah. So, so he says that there is a difference between, uh, between the two. And, uh, uh, when he, uh, and he says that the importance of uh, evidence for people like these is to make them link, have this link between the two. Mm. Between, uh, and, uh, bring that awareness uh, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. B bring that awareness uh, out. Uh, uh, well, the third question is... I'm sorry, I'm yes, sorry okay. but before, before we go on, mm. with these three kind of people, mm. I am very sure that Ibn Taymiyyah did not intend to insult the intelligence of these people. Mm. Because no. in the category here... Except uh, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> when he was very blunt about it. No. <clears throat> I think your addition alluded to it that some people do really think that they're being very rational yeah. in, the, in the process. Yeah. So their denial is not necessarily for, because they're lying or worldly gain or anything like that. These are people who have actually lived for this, wrote and read about it as you're probably very aware um, yeah. of this. We will come back to these people. Yes, but, but, uh, yes but remember, he said, uh, um, he accused only the first, but uh, he was a kind of sympathetic with He the, was, with the yes, second people the, I felt the, that. Because he, he said this is a kind of disease that, that can be cured, yeah. uh, this sophistry. And being unaware also is something that can be, you pass through an experience. And I, I know one of my relatives, he, who was um, 
communist. And he went and studied uh, geology mm. in, in Russia and came back يعني, a good Muslim <laughs> <laughs> from the Soviet Union at that time. And he said that he passed through an experience. They went down uh, a mine. Uh, I, I don't know, it must be some uh, kilos down, <laughs> down. And then a rock uh, 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 you know, fell and closed the path out to go up. Okay. No. He said at that time, he believed in God. <laughs> <laughs> no. So uh, a person can uh, pass through an experience which reveals to him the truth that is already in his in, in his Innate heart. In, 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 yes, yes. Sheikh, that's, that's a point yeah. that we would come to continue yes. in the next episode. But with this, we thank you again for being with us in the intersection of faith and reason with Dr. Jafar Sheikh Idris, hoping that you would join us the next time as well.